Hey, my friends, it's your old pal, Jordan the Lion. How are you all doing today? I hope you said well. Today we are returning to a place that we visited once before, but we visited here in the winter. No problem, because it's a movie location that takes place in the spring, summer, and winter. So we got all the winter locations done. Now we're gonna go see what the Field of Dreams looks like in the summer. Days with Jordan the Lion, Dyersville, Iowa, and you all begins right now. Now let's get out to the Field of Dreams. It's great to be back. Plus, since I was here, they built a Major League Baseball field. Started having Major League games here. To keep this amazing place amazing, we give a $20 donation. They say they'll turn up your driveways not knowing for sure why they're doing it. They'll arrive at your doors as innocent as children longing for the past. Of course, we won't mind if you look around, Terrence Mann. It's a fair question. I brought my glove and a ball, but I'm the only loser out here with no one to pass with. They've really made a conscious effort to make this place better and better every year. So there's the house. There's Kevin Costner playing Ray Kinsella his family farmhouse and here is the field that he builds the story to this is that he has a farm and one day he has this vision that he should create a baseball field and nobody understands it because he's gonna wipe out most of his area that he can grow corn in so he's gonna hurt his income but he just keeps seeing that he's supposed to do it and that if he builds it, he will come. So the field is here. When I was out here before, like I said, it was winter time. So he filmed, they filmed it in the winter because he's showing, you know, the, the change in seasons. But now we actually get to see where home plate is and everything. So this is a dedication to the woman that really changed everything around here at Denise. When I was out here, they couldn't say enough nice things about her. When she bought the site, she just went out of her way to make it a place that people really wanted to come back to. So, thank you, Denise. And it says that legend has it by rubbing Denise's face on her plaque below that you, both you and your family and Field of Dreams will prosper. So here they have a plaque commemorating on August 12th of last year, 2021, and they're getting ready to do it again. The Chicago White Sox and New York Yankees played the first ever Major League Baseball game, State of Iowa. In a ballpark constructed adjacent to the Field of Dreams movie site, 7,800 fans gathered on the site at the MLB field in celebration of the enduring spirit. So that is the field just beyond there. Now the Reds and Cubs are going to play this year. But I looked into getting tickets. They really make it so that people around here can get the tickets. Which is fair. Here's the house. I don't think I'm gonna do the movie tour house today of the house today because I did it last time. So look up my winter video if you want to see it. There you can see if they build it or if you build it, he will come. And the famous scenes of the porch swing. You can see the porch swing is right here on the corner. Not the original one from the movie because they borrowed like everything to make this movie. So they don't have the original, but we can go up and see the original placement of it. See? That's also the window that Ray is looking out at the field during the winter. So you have a great scene of Timothy Busfield, James Earl Jones, basically most of the cast sitting out here on the bleacher at the end of the movie. That's when Timothy Busfield's like trying to tell Ray that he's living in a fantasy world and that he's going to ruin his family's life. And it's right there on the benches that were there. So we just lost Ray Liotta. But when Ray sees Ray Liotta coming out, Shoeless Joe, he comes out of the middle of the field and walks straight to the pitching mound over here. And Ray ends up pitching to Shoeless Joe down there. Here's the funny thing about the making of this. They wanted Ray Liotta so bad that they didn't care that he couldn't bat the proper side that Shoeless Joe Jackson did. So they cast him anyway and just hoped nobody would care. Because <laughs> Shoeless Joe is a lefty 
and Ray Liotta was a righty, comes out of the cornfield over here. And it's also great because that's when we see this cornfield when Shoeless Joe says, I brought some of my friends to play. And then we just see all the white socks, like the 1919 white socks from the Black Sox scandal come walking out. This is so cool to be here. And if you watch, watch my, uh, my video of the house tour because they tell a lot of really fascinating information. One of which being that how they found this farm and that the people that own the farm really didn't want them to make the movie here, but they just were really persuasive and said this was the perfect site for it. And then they had problems growing corn that year. So they had to bring in like their expert grower had to basically do a Hail Mary miracle grow job and actually got the corn grow to grow for the movie in time for the movie. This is so cool. You know, there's one thing I've always wanted to do in my life and you're probably thinking the same thing, so let's do it. Now this is crazy. When I was back in the cornfield to do that little scene, look what I found. Some sort of relay metal for a relay race they had out here. That's pretty wacky. Well, at least I can say that my old trusty glove and the ball that I got in Fenway Park made it out here. So let's go over here to where the game is played. Even if I got nobody to pass the ball with, I wouldn't mind throwing the ball against home plate like I'm pitching to Shoeless Joe. One of the awesome things about this movie is that, you know, Kevin Costner before this had made Bull Durham, which was a baseball movie. And then when they brought this to him, a lot of people didn't think that he should make it because they said, you're going to make another baseball movie? And in interviews, he said, I didn't see this as a baseball movie. When he said he read the script, he said, baseball was part of it, but I did not see it as a baseball movie. I, I saw it as a guy coming to terms with who he is and his family life and his relationship with his father. And so he said, it didn't bother me or dissuade me at all thinking of doing this as my follow-up. My dream for coming out here was always to come with my grandpa, pass the ball with him, but he went and got too old on me. <laughs> yeah, he said he can't travel anymore, so the ultimate goal will be to come back here with my girlfriend at some point and for us to pass the ball around because she likes baseball. She'll do it. Just couldn't happen on this trip. I think they're doing construction on the, the big field out there where they're gonna have the Reds and Cubs play, so they're not really allowing you to go through that way. So I don't think I can get back there to show it. Here we can get a little bit of a feel for the movie. Uh-oh, it's to me. I think I gotta come over here and sit on this bleacher. Isn't that just magical, seeing the house and the bleacher where it would have been in the movie? <sighs> Legendary moment here. Legendary actors, Timothy Busfield, James Earl Jones, Kevin Costner. Really a fantastic cast. If you build it, he will come. And for 30 years, we have. We've all been coming. Now, I don't know if they actually did it or not, but they were telling me when I took the tour that the upstairs was an office, but that the bedroom they used for uh, Ray and his wife, that they were going to turn that into an Airbnb. It was really, really expensive. I want to say, I forget how much they told me it was, but it was out of my price range, and I've paid a lot for some rooms, but they, uh, they do make that available so you can stay in the house, but the house is old and... Yeah, it's just not a, it's not like something they let people do all the time. It's been a long time. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Thank nice. you. Good one. So the last time I was here, they were actually building this. So I want to check out the souvenir shop. At the time I was here, it was like three items. Check this out. This shows a little bit of the park history how the uh, 
farm has been in the Lansing family, or it was for a hundred years until 2006, and they're the ones that allowed them to film on this property. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. That's where we are. Oh. This is showing what they're planning on doing. The movie site is buried into there, and they're going to have all these fields. That's the field where all the major leaguers are playing, but looks like they're going to add all that. The thing I like about it is that it doesn't affect the actual site itself, so that's cool. And then here when you walk in it says, Ray, people will come. They'll come to Iowa for reasons they can't even fathom. They'll turn up at your driveway, not knowing for sure why they're doing it. They'll arrive at your door as innocent as children, longing for the past, of course. We won't mind if you look around. You'll say, it's only $20 per person. They'll pass over the money without even thinking about it. For it is the money they have and peace they lack. And they'll walk out to the bleachers, sit in the shirt sleeves on a perfect afternoon. They'll find they have reserved seats somewhere along one of the baselines where they sat when they were children and cheered their heroes. And they'll catch the game and it'll be as if they dip themselves in magic waters. The memories will be so thick they'll have to brush them away from their faces. People will come, Ray. The one constant through all the years, Ray, has been baseball. America has rolled by like an army of steamrollers. It has been erased like a blackboard, rebuilt and erased again. But baseball has marked the time. This field, this game, is part of our past, Ray. It reminds us all that once was good and it could be good again. Oh, people will come, Ray. People most definitely will come. Of course, all kinds of baseball memorabilia. One cool thing they had when I was here last time was they had a coffee mug that when you put hot coffee in it, the players came out of the cornfield. Oh, that's awesome, I like that one. Same with that one. Quite possibly. I love all the merch they have here. Look at this one. That's great. Now I've bought a lot from this company, they're called Cooperstown. So that's where I got my Griffey hat that people have seen. But check out some of the others they have. <laughs> the hot dogs. Look at these, these are great. The Field of Dreams hats. See, I might get one of those. And I like this one because that's the natural hat. It says Wonder Boy. And they're also who sold me not only my first Major League hat, but now I have a second one. Nice Babe Ruth hats. So this one they do have my size. I might get one of those. Where else can you find that? Well, you probably can, but I mean, if you get it here, that's awesome. Hey, there's Joe Boo. And I almost bought these shirts when I saw them the first time. Aside if there says people who know baseball aren't better than everyone else, but everyone else would be better if they knew baseball. All right, I guess I gotta do both. So this time of the year, they are super busy with tours. So when I took my tour, I actually got a private tour in the winter, but they said normally it's like 25 people per tour. So that's, and you can see it's completely full all day today already. That's why I'm not taking it, but I will link my old tour the private tour here, the end of the video. So we will be back out here. My goal is someday to see a game here at the Major League Field and also to play catch with my girlfriend when we come out next time. This was a blast today, even though I did it alone and I feel like everybody should come out here with someone else. I was traveling alone this time. I just decided last minute I should come do it and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. There's one more thing that you know I think we should do before we take off. It involves us walking across the field. The last thing I feel like we should do, I feel like we should say a little rest in peace to Ray Liotta. Thank you for all the wonderful movies, especially this one. You can only imagine how many baseball fans were made from seeing this. Rest in peace, Ray. Rest in peace, Shoeless Joe. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. I hope 
you can find your way out to Dyersville, Iowa someday and experience this and have some fun with your family too. Have a great night. Thank you all for watching. If you're new here, please hit the like button, please subscribe, and we'll see you all next vlog. Have a great night and goodbye.